I just wanted to say that this was supposed to be a video where I tell people that I'm out with friends, not care about film, and now the first thing we do is have a conversation about film photography. Yeah. What? <laughs> that speed, we won't be there before <laughs> two hours. <laughs> Okay, but, but proper now. Um, you know that oftentimes when I do videos I go out specifically to shoot film, but honestly like 99% of the time it's not like that. But it's that I'm out with friends as I'm here with Anna Christine. Say hi. Hi. Helena. <laughs> Both from Norway. And Vanessa, uh, who's an old friend from school. And I'm out with friends and on the go I shoot a little bit of film. So this is like a more realistic day of life. Uh, where I will bring you along and see if I will take any film pictures at all. So what I mean by that is that in reality so much more of my photography happens outside of my videos. In fact, the majority of my photos happen when I am just living life and carrying a camera with me wherever I go. So this video is to show you this part of my work as well, but also prove to you that even a tiny point-and-shoot camera is more than enough most times. Oh, and by accident, I also turned my non-photography friends into film shooters for the day. Anna Christina is uh, withdrawing cash because she will buy a film camera, guys! Ooh, <laughs> one more converted to the dark side. She will never go back, never go back. She will be a film shooter from now on. Right. You have a one-way camera as well with you. You don't. No, I don't. So it's like I... three out of four people who should I bought this day. yesterday. It's uh, black and white, but now I'm a bit envious of Dana Christina because she, this costs uh, 15 euros and hers is like 20, no, 35. And I also have this, right? Yeah. The inside, yes. <laughs> I just have my phone, I take pictures with it. <laughs> with my watermelon case. <laughs> but you can borrow my uh, one time camera. You know, we, I will yeah, pass yeah. it. I will pass it's it. For it's for everyone. Yeah, it's for yeah. everyone. Sharing is caring. Yeah. yeah. In, uh, sharing is caring. Sharing <laughs> is Karen. <laughs> That's Karen. <laughs> How do you feel about your film purchase? Uh, excited. Excited. <laughs> excited. <laughs> This is a very like it has the typical holiday look. It's like, super grainy, not so clean. Okay, which is a nice form. And all the color pass me with them. Anna Christina wants to take her first picture. <laughs> but of what of this situation here? Or? Yeah, okay, then <laughs> go on. <laughs> Usually this is me, I take all the behind the scenes images of people doing weird stuff and now I'm doing the weird stuff. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm shooting my Yashica T4 today, which is just my favorite point and shoot camera. It's very easy to carry it around, so no heavy camera gear today. And I'm shooting my favorite holiday film, which is Aqua Vista 400. However, this role of Aqua Vista is really expired and turned out rather muddy and grainy, as you will see. But I don't really mind because on casual days like these, I like to not take my photography too seriously either, but use it as a fun outlet for experimentation. <laughs> We've been friends for I think almost 
15 years or something? Yeah, uh, like yeah. a really long time. Oh, we met arm. in high school. My arm is too short. And uh, in, yeah, the languages are quite similar. Yeah, and yeah. in the in the metro we saw like Neste. they say Neste Station yeah. or something like that. Yeah. And in Norwegian it's Neste Station. Yeah, is it? Come on. So a bit messed up with the languages here because we are talking like English, but Vanessa and I are talking German. And with the girls, I'm trying to talk a little bit Norwegian because I used to speak Norwegian, but it's a bit rusty at the moment. So languages are just all over the place currently. It looks so nice with the flowers and everything and in the yellow background. I think I will take a photo of that. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, that's really nice. Wow. Oh, wow. oh my god, there's a street photographer hidden in there. You should have to this one. I was it's lucky, really I, nice. just, I just had it, my phone yeah. on, but it's perfectly with the pipes. This is what yeah. we're waiting for, right? Just a tiny step. That's perfect. Okay, I'll take the shot now. <laughs> I really, it's my favorite color. It's turquoise. It's turquoise, turquoise right? yeah. No, it's really nice. Very excited to see Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. And the yellow matching the dress. Yeah, that's awesome. Are you happy? I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess typical. We're behind, talking, being the late and uh, slow ones, and, and then. They're taking so many pictures yes. and they're like, will we ever reach Mitte? <laughs> so this will be the, the cliffhanger of the video. Will we ever get to our destination? Will we ever get to Brandenburger Tor it's to do some touristy stuff? It's already two o'clock and we just had breakfast and took some pictures. <laughs> Baklava for life! Oh, the brain! Oh, that's I nice. Did not see the brain. Of course, the brain noticed the brain. That's really nice as well. Good composition, Helena. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I'm very cool, Mila. Mm -hmm. I think most of us photographers are guilty of carrying too much. Carrying extra cameras or extra lenses, even though we might not even end up using them. So over time I truly learned that less is in fact more. Yes, you might miss out some shots when leaving equipment at home, but limiting yourself to the bare minimum of gear can actually help you to think of more creative ways to use what you have to its fullest potential. Also, on days like these, it's about enjoying the moment for me. I want to spend time with my friends, but also be prepared to capture some memories. So a small, lightweight camera simply helps me to be more present. So we're currently waiting, so let me just take a second to talk to you again. Um, actually, I think it's really nice to run around with a small camera like that, especially for street photography, because nobody will take you seriously if you're in a tourist spot walking around with something like that. And I think you don't really need much more than that. It's not complicated, it's not anything fancy to take photos on the street. I mean, I don't know how the images will turn out. I haven't seen anything, but I will uh, show you some of the street images I have taken here uh, on this kind of street, on this trip here as well. So we'll see if they're any good. Just a normal trip with my not, not photography friends when I'm the one waiting for them to take the photo. <laughs> <laughs> this time, this time. <laughs> so, um, history experts are in, and, <laughs> and Vanessa, you have to tell us selfie time. Woo
taking say cyanotypes on the streets. Pretty cool. Lunch break. Anna Christina yeah. said that she didn't feel photogenic. Look at this. Look at that, Anna Christina, like seriously. So I mean I'm good to capture the moment. But <laughs> <laughs> No, but that is really nice. That is really, really nice. But she like, is yeah. photogenic. Is, Call it on camera. <laughs> So I'm happy that they had it on sale for like less than 15 euros, isn't that crazy? It was like 45 or something before, so... But it's heavy, I have to carry it now. Thank you! The good atmosphere, good yeah. food, just nice, chill, good vibes. Good vibes! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good vibes! How was your phone photography experience so far? Uh, I would, we'll just have to wait and see you. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun yeah. taking the pictures. I hope they will be good or look good. Yeah. How did it feel to be like a film photographer now? I feel very cool. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it is <laughs> a, it's an important thing in Berlin, right? To be cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, also, <laughs> yeah. but also, if you're uncool, you're welcome in Berlin. Yeah. Yeah, it's also nice. Uncool because so I feel uncool. like I'm uncool. <laughs> Uncool is cool. Yeah. yeah. changed and now we're going to Tempelhofer Feld to chill, relax and have a couple of drinks. And take some photos of course. Yeah. 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 Nosk, yeah. yeah. They were very nice. Oh, it is so beautiful. Look at Vanessa's face. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? Really beautiful light on your face if oh, you're standing yeah. there. <laughs> Change of plans. One of our friends, Helene, lost her bank card so we don't know what we have to do next. We will grab some food and probably go somewhere else because it's getting dark really quickly. Uh, typical. Always there always has to be a disaster. It cannot be without. Are we surprised? No, we're not. Are we surprised? Yeah. <laughs> Anna Christina's face. To be honest, I think every point and shoot camera is good enough to create that casual point and shoot kind of look. But what I like about the Yashikati phone in specific is that it is a perfect middle ground between great image quality and the snapshot character you get from it. The lens on this camera is insanely sharp and the minimum focusing distance is only about 0.35 meters, which makes it a great camera for close-ups and for portraits as well. The integrated flash that you can control completes this package, making it possible to continue shooting with this camera as it gets dark. 
So overall, I think it's one of the best all-around cameras for every day. We are at Tempelhofer Feld now and the sky is so pretty. Just look, can you see it? So nice. that I talk to the camera all the time? At first I found it a bit weird, but later I think it was pretty cool. <laughs> no, I, I just I just got used to it and then it, it felt normal again. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I think, I, can I add I one thing? <laughs> I no. think it was, it, it's really cool for us also to have like a memory of our day, like a travel diary kind of. Yeah, so that I appreciate that. Good. Any other thoughts? I agree on, on, on what, what she said. <laughs> what, what she no, said. I get really self-conscious when, when everyone's taking pictures and filming all day. And suddenly someone... Yeah. yeah, but I think it was nice that you joined so it didn't feel as awkward because everybody was taking a lot yeah. of pictures. It also motivated me to try to take it was a cap. It was a seize the day, capture the day hmm. um, feeling. And yeah. Mm. You filming is, is just... Yeah. I mean, I'm comfortable with camera. I don't know why. I just <laughs> I don't. I, I, I don't know why. why. <laughs> it just comes natural. To no, me. I, no, but it's superstar. You, I don't know why. It's not because I I want to be. Maybe it's because I want to be seen. Okay. Is <laughs> that insect again? No, there's nothing going on. Yeah, yeah there's I an see. insect. I see it. <laughs> 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 the force of the falafel is life. The That's why it's cold like that. <laughs> okay, that was everything for today. We are going to chill at Tempelhofer Feld, have some good food, have some snacks and drinks. And um, yeah, thanks for following us around the very chill and comfortable day. Um, shooting more film than expected actually. So let me know what your favorite shots were. And that said, I would say thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> I didn't train them to do that, not at all. Bye bye! <laughs> Leave a comment if you want her to <laughs> start a channel. <laughs> <laughs> Helena's life. It would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>